So good morning friends, this is Dr. Preem Swami, Professor, Department of BCE. Today, we are going to discuss about the NIOS equivalence bandwidth, effective NIOS temperature. So already from the last three classes, we have discussed about the so different types of the NIOS, that is the classification of NIOS, external NIOS, internal NIOS and broad classification under the subcategories. And also, second one is how we are going to calculate the, the NIOS figure for cascade infer and the narrow band NIOS. So today we can see the NIOS equivalent bandwidth, effective NIOS temperature. These are the two parameters in case of the NIOS chapter. So you can see the that one. So what is the NIOS equivalent bandwidth? So when the white noise is passed through a filter having the frequency response H of F, some of the NIOS power is rejected by the filter and some is passed through to the output. So anyway, so there is some loss of the power because of the filtering operation. When the white noise is passed through the filter having the frequency response H of F, some of the NIOS power is rejected by the filter and some is passed through the output. So we use the bandwidth of the equivalent ideal rectangular filter to calculate the thermal noise flow. So that is the how we first we have to calculate the thermal noise and then we are going to calculate the NIOS equivalent bandwidth. So this is the NIOS equivalent bandwidth. So you can see the this is Bn and minus Bn. So the difference between these two, you'll get the equivalent bandwidth. So minus Bn, Bn. So NIOS equivalent bandwidth and equal area under the each curve. So overall H of F whole square gives the, the NIOS equivalent bandwidth. So difference between the Bn and minus Bn gives the overall NIOS equivalent bandwidth. So consider the an arbitrary low pass filter of the transfer point in HFF at the input of the which is a white noise of zero mean and power spectral density n naught by 2. This power spectral density of the output noise is given by S n S naught of S n S naught of F equal to modulus of H of F whole square by into n naught by 2. So, you know that this first equation for calculation of the NIOS equivalent SN, SN naught of F. The average output power is equal to P average equal to integral minus infinity infinity SN naught of F TF. Then P average equal to N naught integral 0 to infinity H of F or modulus whole square into TF. So when the same white noise source is connected to the input of the an ideal low pass filter of the zero frequency response H of zero and bandwidth Bn, the average output noise power is obtained as Pn equal to N naught Bn modulus of H of zero whole square. So overall this noise power is obtained for the bandwidth of Bn is equal to Pn equal to N naught into Bn H of whole square modulus. Then coming to the, the filtering of NIOS power Pn is finite and proportional to the bandwidth Pn. The bandwidth Pn is called NIOS equivalent bandwidth for a low pass filter. Equating equation 3 and 4, we will get the P average equal to Pn. So based on that we have to calculate the bandwidth Pn equal to integral 0 to infinity modulus of H of whole square Pf by at 0 frequency that is the modulus of H of 0 whole square. So this is a bandwidth, nice uh, equivalent nice bandwidth. So effective nice temperature. Then coming to the, the available nice power is directly proportional to temperature, always the nice power generated by the NIOS is always proportional to the temperature. Generally, the NIOS which is the unwanted component, unwanted signal, which is proportional to the temperature. So it may be inside or outside to the circuit or system. So the NIOS generated within the circuit or outside the system 
is proportional to temperature. If temperature increases, noise increases. If temperature decreases, noise increases. So based on that, the available noise power is directly proportional to the temperature and is independent of the resistor value. So this provides a convenient way of expressing the available noise power from the different noise sources. The power specified in terms of the temperature is called as noise temperature. The power specified in terms of the temperature is called as a noise temperature. So know that noise power equal to P, it is equal to K into Te B. So you know that Te temperature equivalent K into F minus 1 into T naught into B. So B is a bandwidth and T naught is initial temperature. So T equal to F minus 1 into T naught. So that is given by T bandwidth. So overall power, noise power is given by P equal to K into T B, where T equal to F minus 1 into T naught. F is a <coughs> noise factor. So the noise at the input of the amplifier input is P and A equal to F minus 1 into K into T naught into P. So this is the noise contributed by the amplifier. This noise power can be alternatively presented by some temperature T equivalent. So T equivalent equal temperature equivalent equal to F minus 1 into T naught. So overall the noise at the input of the amplifier input is P and A. This is equal to F minus 1 into K into T naught into P. So temperature equivalent is given by T equivalent equal to F minus 1 into T naught. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.